Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology. Good afternoon, everyone. I am Dr. J. Refona, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Science, Satyabama Institute of Science and Technology, Dean to be University. Today, we are going to see about the control statements in C. First, let us know what is a control statement. Control statements in C helps to control the flow of the program execution. Here, it is used to direct the execution of statements under certain conditions. Control statements is also called as conditional statement and it modifies the control flow of a program. Types of control statements. First, decision making control statements, conditional statements in C, go to statements in C and loop control statements in C. Types of branching statements. First, we have if statement, switch statement and go to statement. Under if statement, we have variations such as simple if, if else statement, nested if else statement, else if statement, switch and go to statements. First is the if statement. In if statement, here we are going to check only the conditions, that is the true conditions. When an input is given and the condition is satisfied or the condition is true, then the first condition, that is the statement block under the true will be executed. Now let's see what is a simple if statement. Here comes the syntax. If is the keyword and here comes the condition. Here the condition of the input is given. And if the condition is true, the statement will be executed. Here is a flowchart. The condition is given. The input is given to the condition. And if the condition is true, if it is satisfied, then the true block will be executed or else it will not execute. Here we have a program to check whether the given number is odd. First, as we all know, the program starts with the header file hash include stdio.h that is the standard input output next comes the main function the main function is where the program execution actually begins and here we are giving the declaration of variables int number int is the data type and number is the variable name under printf we are just giving enter the number scanf is a statement which is going to take the inputs from the user for, so we are getting the number as an input from the user now as the syntax, if is our keyword, we are giving the condition as number modulo 2 equal to equal to 0. That is, whatever input we are giving, that comes and stores here and this condition is going to satisfy, then the number is even. Else, it will just come out of the loop statement. Since we are giving int main, we are using return 0. Here, First, I am entering a value 10342. Here, since the value 10342 is given here, modulo 2, that is, it is divisible. So, it is printing the number is even. Next, we are going to see about the else if statement. Else if statement is nothing but it is an extension of our basic if statement. Here, it has two conditions. It takes care both of true and false condition. It has two execution blocks. If the condition is true, the block 1 will be executed and if the condition is false, the block 2 will be executed. So, this is the syntax. If is the keyword condition which we are going to give as an input. If the condition is satisfied, as we said, the statements of the true block will be executed. Else, the statements in the false block will be executed. Coming to the flowchart, the condition is given. Here, if it is true, the true block will be executed, else a false block will be executed. Let us see an example program for this to check whether the number is odd or even. As I already said, first statement will be our header file, second will be our main function, then we are getting the number using the scan of statement. Whatever input we have got using our scan of statement is given into this condition. So, when this condition is true, if the condition is satisfied, this particular block will be executed. The number is even. Suppose if the condition is false, the block execution will come here and it will print the number is odd. Since we are using int, we are using the return statement. If we are using void main, we need not use this return statement. Now I am going to give an input 10341. 10341 is obviously an odd number. So it is printing the given number is odd. If I am giving a number 10342, it is even. So, 
true statement will be executed. Next is the nested if else statement. Here we are using a series of decisions, series of conditions are involved and it makes a choice between these several alternatives. New if else statement block is used within the existing if else statement block. Here if you see this syntax it is clearly given first you are having a if a condition. If this condition is satisfied it enters into the next if block if test condition 2 that is if it is passing the condition 1 if the condition 1 is true then it enters and it goes to this condition 2 and here if this condition is true it will execute this true statement block else it will execute this false statement block. Suppose if initially the first condition itself is getting failed it will come to the last else block and execute the statement that is given. Coming to the program as already said we have the header file here the main function where the program execution begins and here we are giving two inputs one is the character input and one is the integer input. So character is the data type variable name int is the data type variable name. Next we are getting the inputs from the user for the username and password. Here we are checking the first condition if username equal to equal to a if that condition is checked then if password equal to 12345 if this if my input is a it will come into this if block for condition checking if condition is true it will print login successful else it will print password is incorrect try again supposing initial itself my input is not going to be a then it is going to come to the last else block and it will print username is incorrect so this is the actual concept first it will check the condition if this condition is satisfied if this input is matching the condition it will come to the next thing yes first I am going to give the input as a so in the first condition if my input is a the condition is satisfied and next it is entering into the next if condition so my password input is 12345 yes it is true so matching the condition the true statement was executed as login successful next input I am giving at is username a again it is going to satisfy the condition and it is entering into the next if statement here the password is 54321 it is not going to match the true statement so it is going to print the else statement that is password is incorrect try again and next the third output what I am going to get is I am giving the username b so my very first condition itself is going to be fail so it will execute the last statement else statement and it will print username is incorrect try again so next is the else if ladder so else if ladder statement contain multiple else if when either of the condition is true the statement under that particular if will be executed. So this is my flowchart for each and every condition we have the separate set of statements to be executed. If my condition 1 is true then statement 1 will be executed. If my condition 2 is true statement 2 will be executed. Condition 3 statement 3 condition 4 like that it goes up to n number of statement. If the conditions is false it comes to the last default statement and it will print it. So here is the program for uh, if else ladder here main function header file main function we have the declaration of variable int a here I am entering my number I mean I am giving the input for my program using the scanf. So first I am checking my condition if a is greater than 0 yes if my input is going to be greater than 0 I am going to print the given number is positive if else if a equal to equal to 0 if it is matching the condition it is going to print given number is 0 else if a is lesser than 0 it is going to print the number is negative. So according to the matching of the inputs the particular statement block will be executed and printed. Next comes the switch statement. What is switch statement? Switch statement is nothing but it allows to make decisions from a number of choices and it is also called as switch case default statement. It it is actually very helpful because it is always faster than our nested if else statement and it is also easier to understand and we do have certain conditions or rules for writing the switch statement. So expression in switch must be an integer value or a character constant. Here no real numbers are used in the expression 
and each block will be having a case block and also a default block and it will always end with the break statement. Suppose we can say the default uh, option is also optional. The case word must be end with colon. Here this is the syntax. Switch is the keyword. I am giving variable or expression. It has several cases. So either it can have numeric case or it can have a uh, character case. Okay. So after each case statements, we are going to have a break statement. So case 1 statement followed by a break statement. Case 2 statement followed by a break statement and last will be the default. So the syntax for default is default colon. If any of the case is not matching, it will come to the default case. Here we have the program, header file, main function and we have the declaration of variable. We have three declarations, integer a, b and we have the third variable called c. First we are getting the inputs a and b using the scanf. So we have several options, 1 for addition, 2 for subtraction, 3 for multiplication, 4 for division. All these choices are given but we have to get the input for all these options from the user only. So we are asking enter your choice. So the syntax is as follows, switch is the keyword and choice is the input from the user. According to the user's input, the cases will be executed. Suppose if my input is 1, the particular case of sum will be executed and the output will be given. If my input is 2, the difference of two numbers will be executed. If I am giving my input 3, the multiplication will be executed and if I am giving 4, the difference will be executed. For each and everything, you have a break statement for all the cases and finally, if the choice is not matching up with any of the cases, not 1, 2, 3 or 4, by uh, default it will come to the default statement and it will print as invalid choice. So whatever inputs we are giving, according to that input, it will select the cases and execute. If the inputs does not match with the cases that has been given, then it will go to the last default statement and execute. So here I am giving my input for A is 20 and B is 10. Now I am asking the user to enter the choice. My user has given the choice 3 that is obviously multiplication. So 20 into 100 we are getting the output as 200. Next is the go to statement. As name suggests go to is nothing but it transfers the control from one point to the another that is go to label. So go to whatever label that has been given, it will directly take the execution to that particular block and this is the syntax. Go to is the keyword and label is the thing where we have to point our execution from where the current statements will be executed. And next is the break statement. As name suggests, the break statement ends the loop immediately whenever it is encountered. The syntax for break is break semicolon. Here in this condition, mostly the break statement will be used in switch cases, looping statements, your for loop, while loop and do I loop. Here while is a condition and if the condition is satisfied, it will execute. If you are giving the break in between, it will directly encounter and come out. That is the break statement is almost used within if else statement inside the loop. Next we are going to see about the continuous statement. The continuous statement will skip the current iteration of the loop and continues with the next iteration. Here the syntax for continuous continue semicolon. The continuous statement is almost always used in if else statement. While the expression is given, if the condition is passed, it will come to the continue. Hence, we have seen the control statements and see. Thank you.